MBA. Today we're going to be looking at the Clark Fisher model. This model helps us understand how a country's main industries change over time. But before we delve into the model, let's quickly recap the definition of different types of industries. Primary industry involves extracting raw materials from the ground, like fishing or farming. Secondary industry is where those raw materials are transformed into products, such as turning cotton into cloth. Tertiary industries provide services to people, like cleaning, medical care, or I don't know, teaching? Lastly, quaternary industry is all about high-tech work, such as research and design. Now that we're clear on the types of industry, let's have a look at the Clark Fisher model. As a country develops, the proportion of people working in each sector changes. The model has three phases. Phase one, pre-industrial. Back in 1750 in the UK, for example, most people worked in primary jobs. Agriculture was the dominant activity during this time. Many economies at this stage focus on trading raw produce. Some developing countries like Bangladesh still heavily rely on primary industries today. Phase two, industrial phase. The industrial revolution brings about the opening of numerous factories. This attracts people from rural areas who are seeking higher wages. The percentage of people working in the secondary industry increases, while the percentage of the primary industries starts to decline. The introduction of machinery on farms also contributes to a decrease in primary employment. Phase three, post-industrial. In this phase, robots and advanced technology are increasingly being used in factories, resulting in fewer workers being needed. The tertiary sector gains importance as people have more disposable income, leading to an increased demand for services like entertainment. During this stage, jobs in both primary and secondary industries decline, whilst tertiary and quaternary industries experience growth. As countries become more advanced, they tend to have a larger workforce in the tertiary and quaternary sectors. In contrast, developing countries are often described as being primary product dependent, relying heavily on the primary industries. Importing food and manufactured goods become more common due to cost factors. That wraps up our exploration of the Clark Fisher model. Understanding this really helps us analyse how economies transform and adapt over time. I'm Kate with MBA. Thanks for watching.